Yo, honestly, man, I was gonna do like a actual like intro for Kylock and stuff like that, but uh, your boy just hit 6K, so mm, I don't know, kind of feeling that as a better intro. <laughs> so this adds up, 6K video coming soon. He's pretty fly though, so maybe it synergizes with my boy looking cool, with the channel doing cool, or something like that. I don't know. I. Not all intros are created equal, okay? <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Cash and today's video is clearly shopping at H&M is clearly dripping in a lot of sauce, which we're about to see. But no matter what happens in this video, just remember that it's 100% MFO. Now we're gonna be going into Kylock. He is the last of the new characters that have come out. And with all of the craziness that is going on in the game right now, I still think like I've been saying multiple times is that these characters, Kylock, Naomi, and Dorka, actually make a lot of the new content very easy because of their whole setup. Now, of course, in order to talk about the setup, especially when in regards to this guy, we got to go into the base stats. So when it comes down to the base stats, as we can see here, he has that attack 1081. I mean, I feel like I feel like since Bathory is so popular and I feel like not that many characters have gotten up to that high attack. I think, who else is up there? I know Rudley's pretty low too, right? 1155. Rachel, I think is high. 1157. Jin, I think is up there. 12. And then Barack, I think is 12 as well. Yeah. I don't know. It's like these... I mean, I know they're all in like groups, like they're like the thief assassin group and something like that. So this guy, I guess we have to figure out what group he's in. And I already see it right there, that crit hit, baby. Mmm, delicious. So his defense is 672. So he's going to be susceptible to Rachel, obviously, because Rachel has a higher base attack. You can obviously build characters to make them in and out of certain ranges. But just from base alone, as far as like you putting the same gear on the same characters, it's likely that he's gonna get disheartened, right? That's that's the whole point of that. Luckily, he is below Dorka, only by four points, but it just means that it's very likely she's going to be under Soulbond as well. Defense 672. I mean, most people are gonna get <laughs> hit by the Fear of the Abyss. HP is low enough to also just be under Garf, so he kind of hits all the right. <laughs> he hits everything, right? And Valentina, not Valentina, but I guess Janaya might have a decent hard time charming him or whatever. Hit is 100, dodge is 105, critical hit like I was just mentioning is 280. Now with that being said, it means that he's highly likely to crit, which is awesome. Block is I ain't blocking, attack speed is I ain't going, and crit damage, block defense rate, and luck are exactly the same. So with being a slow character, it kind of sucks. I don't know. I, I'm... I'm always in favor of a slightly faster character because when it, when the character is slower, you have to think about like, oh, hopefully everything is perfectly aligned by the time my turn comes. He is a damage over time character. He has a damage over time. He has a single hit that does pretty decent damage. With going virtually last, he has to come up with a lot. He has to pack a decent amount of punch, which he does. But then we're going to go into his skills and we're going to see a little bit more of how he's supposed to work. And I know that there are some ladies out here, but first of all, look at this design, man. Like, he actually, I said, um, H&M, right? But he really looks like a Bloodborne character. If you guys are, if that, that was going to kind of be my line of jokes, right? If he, if I was to do an intro for him, he looked like he's straight out of Bloodborne. Straight out of Bloodborne. Crazy motherfucker named Kylock. But <laughs> look at him, man. Like, like he just looks ridiculous. He, he looks cool, man. He looks really, really cool. The design team is doing a lot, man. They're carrying, they're carrying the water. For this game right now for everyone looking for the husbandos the man is 26 years old so he's doing it he's a lunatic shaman yeah, some guys are crazy yeah i can get over it let's check out the skills so basic attack super extra look at the clap stop this man drips okay this man is all about the drip he goes in the he goes in the ground with like the Gengar kind of feel pops up slashes twice There's like a cloud like dreamy cloud effect. That's on it. I gotta see it again goes in comes out Like poisonous cloud Stop as far as animation goes for basic attack. He has to be top top the best There's no there's no one else that has a basic attack that's smooth. No one 
not even close then we have uh he does have the mana absorb passive kind of weird to see that and i hope that they mix that up more like i want to see like i said like a, a thief with mana utilization or something like that like kind of start mixing up the passive so you can have different options and i think they could definitely mix it up more if you guys don't know what mana absorb does it removes a buff pretty much when it is when it is applied it will only take off one buff if multiple are applied so just keep that in mind i don't know if it goes by highest hp or attack or something like that but it only takes off one buff at a time and it does not take off a buff as it's sitting there either. So if a buff, let's say, lasts 300 turns or something crazy like that, he won't then strip it once it's already been applied. But the soon as the ability triggers a buff, then he will actually strip it. That's how it works. Uh, gains mana. Additionally, if the health of the target is high, and he'll also gain one mana if the target health is low. The low one is better because it removes one mana, so it actually is a little bit of a mana control, which is looks like it's gonna be a really big theme coming up. I think that that's how I'm predicting it. Like removing people's mana and obviously binding their mana is gonna be a really big thing. Hopefully they're gonna make a something else that doesn't that allows you to cleanse yourself of that I, I really really wish for more counterplay of these big things of like you know obviously like tranquil and things of that nature i've been outspoken on that i've been outspoken on a lot of things i really hope that they make some of this stuff retroactive so you can actually interact with it like taking tranquil away for possibly a turn or two turns or three turns things like that to kind of make it oh man if i could just temporarily disable that and then kill the character or temporarily activate it and then go into something. I think that that would be really cool. Now, the thing that makes him really cool is going to be Absorb Soul. Heals 100% of, of all damage from damage over time effects on allies if affected with Soul Bond. Soul Bond, as you guys know, is the thing with Dorka. As long as you have lower attack than Dorka on your team, you will be healed 30% of your HP every turn. On top of that, you'll take, I think it's 30% less magic damage as well. So it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty spicy. But what this does is allows him to be in a weird kind of cool comp, which is a bunch of damage over time effects. What I like about this is that it really adds like this character that can't die in, in certain situations. Like he's, you have to burst him pretty much. And when I go into like a slight team comp thing, it's about if you're gonna use him, you have to pretty much really engage into damage over times and long damage over times. And he heals 100% of that damage. So whatever it takes for is what he's going to get out of it. So let's go straight over to here, which is the Moon Knight Ripa. It's a one mana, 300 damage. You guys know what these are. They're very bursty skills and it looks phenomenal. I actually like it more than his S3. Goes in, jumps into the sky to silhouette. Uh, one slash. Whew. Did I tell you he drips? I think I told you that. He drips. <laughs> He definitely drips. And then we have the Soul Harvester, which is his AoE hit, and it does leave Corrosion for three turns. Not that much damage is going to come out of this skill, but it is going to slowly passively heal him. Plus, you have to think of it as you're using this Slate in PvP, where you're going to hit everyone, and he's going to suck up all that damage. Whatever amount of damage he's doing, he's healing from that. So over the course of five characters, or four characters, whatever, three, that's gonna be a big heal. Now, obviously, if you want him to heal better and it's a single target, you're gonna need someone like Bailey that has a big nuking hit that is going to leave a, a really fat damage over time and then he'll heal from that a little bit better. Check out the Soul Harvester. Not that it's not bad. I don't think it's a bad skill. It just doesn't drip as much as that too. Bam. Uh, open the portal. I just like the sweat and bring it. In. <laughs> But then he just kind of stands there, you know? That's that's what kills me about it. It's like, it lasts for too long. As soon as that thing dragged, I just hit my phone. As soon as that thing dragged across, it should the animation should have ended. It just He just kind of stands there, and I think that that's just a little silly. It also might look better if you do it against multiple enemies, so it looks a little bit better, but him standing there kind of ruins it for me. So what does all that come down to? Like I said, he needs the soul bond, and then he'll heal from it. Still a little bit dangerous. First Guardians are still out there, especially Rara. Rara is still very popular. She's still very highly in the meta and keep in mind guys even though you're removing the shields with iris you are still stacking dragon bloods when you're doing that stuff and they're all gonna attack him so yes he can heal for the damage but if you guys have seen wrath counters wrath counters usually deal way more than he's gonna be dealing off of a damage over time yes he's gonna heal a decent amount but unless he has someone like naomi protecting him or something like that he's going to be dealing with a lot of wrath procs if there's first guardians on a team like i said which rarer very likely will be there 
and that is why I definitely think Naomi is gonna be good. The whole set is really good, you know? I think the whole the whole gang is gonna be really good. The heal per turn might help him out too from the soul bond, like allowing him to constantly allowing him to constantly stay topped off pretty much, like to stay at a, a decent amount of HP. The wrath counters are crazy, but at the same time, if you can mitigate their damage, so it's like yeah, it hurts and he heals pretty much back to full but remember like we've seen we've seen the wrath counter is pretty much almost one shot certain characters because it crits and things like that so you got to be really careful before you do an aoe damage over time i do like the aspect of like i said bailey where is he when you look at the Kalius, the callus i think it is callus servant which is a big damage a single hit and then it also does 112 damage over time for five turns i would think that you'd kind of want something like that a little bit instead of having like hitting everyone and this 112 damage for five turns does hurt a lot it does a really good tick and it allows you to be a little bit more directive on who you want to kill damage over times actually do do good damage it's just that they were always blocked by barriers from the first guardian so if the first guardians stay out of the meta then i think this will be fine now when it comes down to gear sets i have to admit that my favorite gear set is starting to just become the red just because i feel like you can't always avoid damage and if the character has low block and he doesn't have low dodge i can't say he has low dodge right you i think you can reasonably put him on a green set if you really want to but i do think that i'm liking red because it reduces damage in situations where they're going to hit you and you don't have enough block or dodge to really get around it also i guess you know what honestly i'm going to be completely honest is that i feel like it's more realistic praying for dodges and playing for blocks sometimes seems like it's like it's like weird like it's not exactly a consistent way of oh i'm going to mitigate the damage that i'm taking in but when you have total damage reduction you reduce the damage you take by 20 by 10 by 5 it's like you are legitimately taking that damage off of the table for the opponent whether you block it Woohoo! If you dodge it, woohoo! But if you happen to actually get hit, you know, I don't want to take a big lump sum of damage. And if I can mitigate that in any way, shape, or form, I do. That's why I like the red. Some people don't like the red as much because they think that it doesn't do enough. But I think that's because it's not meant to do enough. It's meant to do something guaranteed over every time you get hit, no matter how hard or how soft you get hit. So I do like that aspect of it. As you guys know, I've been bringing up the light set a lot recently just because. It does mitigate damage, but I will keep saying this for the top of my lungs, only do light set if you are not going into the current PvP meta, or you have to wait, or, or if you want to do tag and like you want to separate it from Iris, because you're just pretty much giving them free food <laughs> every time he goes. So all in all, what I have to say is that he is, I think, a little bit too dependent on Dorka. I think that I like Naomi because she's not super dependent on her. She does a lot by herself. He's, she's a strong independent woman but the thing that i have the issue most with kylock is that without the passive without the absorbed soul he basically has a you know the 300 hit which is nice you guys know from sabrina and bernadette like woohoo we can do some damage we could possibly kill a target right off the jump but there he's not fast so it's like sabrina kind of like rules in that territory because she's very quick and you can pretty much snipe out a target immediately Bernadette's a little bit slower, and he looks like he's going to be the slowest with this. But if you want to even get his passive going, remember this is one mana, and this is I think three. So you want to have this pretty much want to be spamming this, and then keep healing and all that other stuff. And then possibly you can even have a team comp with other people that are throwing stuff out there, like Janai, like Bailey. Like I would be very interested to see like Dorka, Kylock, and then everyone else is damage over time, and just see how much he actually heals for to see like how hard it, that it is to kill him or if you want yes do dorka kylock naomi and then those three and then have two more aoe damage over timers and just kind of see how it works the only problem is that if they have you know obviously first guardians that you're just going to kill yourself but i, I would still want to see how fun it is you know it's, it's a good unit he introduces a mechanic that healing off damage over time that is just a cool mechanic and i i, I want to support that i want to embrace that but right now in pvp you can't really do it but in pve though all for it i think it's a really cool concept because using damage over times in pve has been our go-to for breaking the guardian stones for since the dawn of time so it's not like he's gonna be really good he'll also be phenomenal in like he won't be able to heal in pve because he won't have dorka inside the same thing as him but he still has a reliable 
damage over time aoe that's gonna tick on everybody a nice little nuke but all in all i don't think he's like a 4.7 i actually would rate him a little bit lower than that if i'm being honest oh yeah even to mention people like uh ramji the fear of the abyss he does have synergy with fear of the abyss Ramji and uh, Frankie as well. I didn't mention that. There's some other weird characters that have like damage over times in certain situations, but again, it's a, it's very convoluted, and he's not gonna deal or heal too much off of it anyway. But still, it would be cool to see. <laughs> Sometimes characters are just cool. Like he's just a really cool character. He's one of those characters that you would definitely want to see at FC for. Like he's out of Naomi, Dorka, and himself. I would rather see an FC for him kind of first because I would love to see him get one more thing, if that makes any sense. But what do you guys think about the boy? I mean, the only thing I'm thinking about is the fact that we hit 6K, can't wait to celebrate about that. It's amazing, man. It's amazing to see growth, see this game actually grow, and I, I still have a lot of faith in this game, so that's why I keep really vouching for it, because I actually think that this game is making certain good decisions that I think are being overshadowed by a few bad decisions that they are making. But just like this channel, it's like we're slowly but surely growing and getting better and better and better with each passing day. I mean, that's all I got to say. I'm just in a happy mood. I'm in a happy mood. I'm going to, you know what? Today I'm getting pizza. What should I put in the pizza? You guys let me know. What, what am I putting on my pizza? What am I putting on my pizza? That's all on you. That's on you guys. What am I putting on my pizza? And another thing y'all should be putting on is the merch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to do it. I got to tell you. Also, hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And just remember that every day at the Casino is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.